You can see like one of the missiles down there. You can even see the sky. <laughs> Gosh, this is crazy. So now we're gonna try this out. This is from Japan. Look at that. So bright, right? So we can actually condense the light and make it bright. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I want to show you guys something really cool. So we ordered like 90 nuggets. What's really interesting is this. Look, look at this sauce. This is one of the sauce that was given to us. It's got sauce masam manis. What do you think it means though? I don't even know. Masam manis. Okay, so we're gonna try that out later. And then this one. This one is definitely something that most of you can associate with because of the color. It's barbecue. So it's a barbecue. Sauce barbecue. <laughs> we are here to look for two things. Uh, one is a bag for an e-scooter and another is a super strong light. Why are you not satisfied with your light? So many lights. Tell me, what kind of light are you looking for? Uh, strong one. Like, let the person notice you. Let the person notice you. Yeah. Okay. No, the person. This, this is so cool. This is a cup of latte, which I have to showcase to the whole world because it is so huge. Look at look at my hand. It's like times two of my my palm size, and it only costs two twenty down here. We are actually having a bit of a trouble because we want to buy a bag for the scooter batteries, and it has to be at least fifty six cm long. Now actually, the battery is fifty six cm long. So we need something with like fifty seven, fifty eight. And we've been going around, apart from like those uh, really long backpacks which is like for hiking, we can't really find anything that can suit our size. Alright guys, so here we are now at our favourite night market. Now the thing is, we have been spending the whole day trying to find for a suitable bag for our batteries, for the e-scooters, but we just can't find anything that is good. So now we are at this night market, not to look for bags anymore, uh, we're kind of like having to find another idea behind that. We are here to look for stickers as well as to just uh, walk around and enjoy ourselves. You don't even know the dimension of the stickers you want. No, but how, what if the sticker is too big? Ta, never think about this. The people here are so amazing. They love to be in our vlogs. Like every time we come here and record, they're like waving and just. I mean, it kind of like have people who actually help us to customize shirts and, and stickers when we come here. So it's really one of like my favorite. Is this like your favorite night market? Yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite night market to really really fun place. Supreme looks a little legit, right? Hey, it's nice. It's good material. Oh my gosh, touch it. It's not the kind of like lousy print, right? No, touch the print. The print is good. Oh, <gasps> Supreme jackets. How much is it? Oh look, it even comes with a Supreme tag. How many of you actually remember this? This is the McDonald's mascot and they have it here. This is like so old, I think older than me. Like look at this handphone, legendary. I don't even know whether this can work anymore. Apparently we are too early so you can see all the stores are still closed. They are just setting up so maybe we are going to go for dinner first then come back here and look for stickers and you know hopefully there are some back shops around to check out too. Actually we were trying to look for a proper eating place. I mean like a kind of like brick and mortar shop eating place when we chanced upon this area. So many street side stores! Look at our dinner. Seriously, each of these costs six dollars, okay? Yeah, six Singapore dollars. And it comes with one piece of chicken which is so small and fries which are countable. His plate has six, mine has five. I have five fries on my plate with some measly sauce and a small piece of chicken. Is it nice? You like it? Is it yeah. well? Okay. Quite quite oily. Yeah. Quite oily, yeah, because it's fried. Is it worth six dollars? I think it's too salty. Why is it worth $6? Uh, no. <laughs> we just realized that this is a place where people come for shisha, smoking. There's a lot of it, but you can see, I'm not sure if you can see on the floor, uh, these tubes that they have. So they're actually smoking a lot down here. And yeah, that's right down there. You can see that on the floor, like a rod, there's shisha, smoking, and the smell is so overbearing. I'm about to faint. For your three fingers, gosh, three finger baby supreme. So you can custom like your name, and they actually engrave it for you. For what? For In case you're wondering what we're trying to do, we're actually trying to modify our e-scooters to look nicer. Uh, we got two e-scooters and we are kind of like really improving it and I want to show you the end result of this whole thing instead of showing them to you in steps. So that's the reason why I haven't shown you anything. We have actually done up quite a bit of the wiring as well as modification so that it can actually run at a proper speed, at a proper weight, uh, change the handlebars. So I'll get all this done into a video and show you guys how it looks like. It's really exciting and cool for us because with Singapore street healthy rules it's actually difficult for people to have e-scooters which are kind of like stable. Yeah, so ours is quite stable and it's pretty good. So I'm going to show you guys in another video everything that we have done with our scooters. Now we're trying to find more stickers. Hopefully we can find something that we can put on the handle stands and, and uh, beautify our scooters to look way nicer. We have been trying
trying to find the bag the stickers actually this guy offered to print us the stickers like the custom stickers that we want at a very very good price so we actually continued walking on looking for bags and we found a few good bags but the problem is they are so expensive each bag costs like 300 dollars so we are actually aiming for a bag that costs about 30 dollars it's a small world after all it's a small what if the balloon start to make him float up and then you just look up in the sky and whee! So this is one other thing that we have been looking for, a really really strong torchlight. Like we have seen quite a few but we are not satisfied with the brightness, we want something that is really strong. Mainly because every time we are travelling, people don't seem to even know or notice the light because they are on their phone. So now we want like shine so brightly to the point where uh, night becomes day. Okay guys, 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 look, 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 we kind of like found some really amazing torchlights. This is a pulley torchlight which is what, 50,000 watts. Look at how strong it is, it lights up the building. And you can even see the sky. <laughs> Gosh, this is crazy. So now we're gonna try this out. This is from Japan. Look at that. So bright, right? So we can actually condense the light and make it bright. This is very bright. Oh, look at the sky. Can you see? Yeah. What do you think of this? I wanna get this. That's what? Somebody just pushed a pram right into him. And when he turned back, because he's like, whoa. The lady laughed. Like as though she did it on purpose. We are back with our e-scooters. We have already installed our super mega ultra light. Look at that. So bright. Oh my gosh, you can't even see anything. Yeah. And he has his very cool backlights down there. <laughs> Flashing red and blue. But it's really very good when he travels. It kind of like really keeps people in the know that he's around because it's really very bright. Alright, so now we're gonna go off. See ya. Time check 126 and guess what? We have traveled from 109 to 126 and we traveled from Aogang and now we are at Aogang. Look at the sign, the road sign there, the green sign there. We are still at Aogang. So we are taking a very long time to get out of Aogang but we are progressing really well. We started at 109, it's 147 and we are at this area which is like a, it's what they call the park connector and it's a long Changi area. You can see like one of the missiles down there. No, I think that's like a place of worship, I don't even know but it looks like a missile right? We are expecting our journey to be like a straight road all the way now till we reach East Coast. They actually drew a map for the park connectors but we didn't follow because uh, the park connector is quite funny. It's like it actually goes a huge loop. So we actually go straight down and we are reaching much faster than if we were supposed to take the park connectors. Oh my gosh, we've just arrived at East Coast Park. Just before I turned on the camera, somebody down there was blasting music like as though it was daylight. We took like more than an hour to reach here, like one hour and ten minutes but we stopped for a lot of things. We stopped for photo taking, we stopped for uh, vlogging and a lot of stuff that we just did along the way, right? So yeah, you can hear a lot of music from there, right? So everybody down here is living life like as though night is day. Look at the, the ships that are far away. Just so nice. You know, things look so much better in real life. You guys have to really go out and enjoy life. Every day I see people just stuck on the phone. I'm sure, yes, Phone games are really fun but going out is really different like where I am now it's the breeze it's the smell of seawater that is just so different where I'm pointing now which is the seaside is the south of Singapore so if you just go this direction you probably reach Indonesia and if you turn left you're going to where good food is okay, this is one of the best area we have been to so far around this area East Coast Park because the road is so huge so it's so easy for us to move and this area here i haven't seen it before but it looks really cool like they light it up so nice and it's a very nice small little park the people are just fishing here tenting there camping scootering around and it's just buzzing with activities here all right so we are finally back home it is 3 33 and people are sleeping so i don't want to talk so loudly so we're gonna end the vlog down here thank you so much for joining us uh hope you had a great time today to have a great day yeah, so we're gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much once again. Please do drop us a like and a subscribe. And uh, Snowball, why are you still awake? Why are you still awake? Right, okay, so stay cool, stay awesome, and be your best. Oh.